Do you share files in your chats? If so, please watch this video. But first, uh, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, please follow my YouTube uh, channel. Yes, welcome. Um, this video is about uh, sharing files in Teams and in your chat's files. And uh, what most of people don't know, if they share a file, it's shared by default uh, with the whole company. Although, is that true? Well, let's take a look. First, we go into Teams. Uh, I'm gonna take the Teams client. So now that you see the Teams client, uh, I already started it up and I'm gonna send a file to Debbie. So in this case, I'm going to upload it from my computer, which is also very important to know if you up upload it from your computer or your OneDrive, that is a really difference. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that uh, right now, but now it's from my computer, from my downloads. I open it and it's going to be uploaded. The first thing you need to be aware of, and this is quite new, is that by default, anyone with this link can edit this document. So what does this mean? When I um, send this document to uh, Debbie and she forwards the link uh, or she forwards the document, uh, everybody else in the company can edit it or even broader because it's an anyone link. So this is a really uh, important thing. But uh, watch what happens when I uh, click on the drop down app uh, icon. Uh, you will see that it's uh, changed to people currently in this chat. So now when I say apply, it will change to people only in this chat. But by default, it was this link. So that's one, and by default, everybody can edit. That's most common uh, used, so I'm gonna leave that. If I click on apply, you see that this is changed to people currently in this chat with the link can edit. So that's correct. If I reopen it, uh, you see that it changed to specific people to me and uh, Debbie. So that's fine uh, with me. I'm gonna put it back there or I'm gonna cancel it. Um, so this is really important to know if you are sharing. Uh, so what can an IT admin do on the backside? Uh, well, at this moment, not too much. He can go to the SharePoint admin center and go to uh, policies and then to sharing. And here are the default sharing settings for OneDrive and uh, Share, uh, SharePoint. So by most organizations, it's uh, ref referred to this. So new and existing guests, they must have a verification code. Uh, before they can uh, even see the document. Um, and then uh, depending on, uh, it's a view link by default or edit link. But what I'm missing in here is the uh, option to share uh, the sharing setting for a chat, the default sharing setting for a chat, because it only inherits this uh, setting from the SharePoint Admin Center. So I'm curious uh, if you knew about this and uh, if you knew it, uh, do you ever play with this uh, setting? And um, if so, uh, please comment below the video and uh, let me know what, uh, what you think about this setting by default and uh, what you think it should be. In my opinion, uh, which I already said, it should be a different setting within the Teams Admin Center specifically for the chats uh, that you can set by default. Um, so I'm really curious. Uh, please leave a comment, uh, like and subscribe uh, to my channel and like this video, of course, and uh, share it with your colleagues uh, if you want. Uh, thanks uh, for watching and see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,